We are here at the dump getting rid of the trash and then we're going to head over to another storage unit. In the last two videos you saw two of the three units that I bought. The reason why I'm not releasing a full video on the third one, I, I bought it for one reason, well actually two reasons, for fun and it just it looked like a really neat item that I had a personal connection to. Check out this footage and we'll be right back. to the right it doesn't have a lock on it y'all this is how excited i was about this unit look <laughs> you left it i didn't even freaking lock it i was like i could oh, only be so lucky it's jammed if someone was, oh, oh oh no it's not See, they fixed it me. they fixed it okay look so here's why i bought it there's a marine corps cover right there there's the ega on it eagle globe and anchor uh right there oh, i used to have one That's of these actually, bad boys you can sell that uh, these, you know, they sell these at every army surplus, army surplus stores. They sell those there, but I actually might keep that just to display it. Yeah, uh, since you don't have yours anymore. Yeah, because, you know, you make bad decisions in life with who you want to do life with, and then they throw all your Marine Corps stuff in the trash. <laughs> hey, look, even, no, I mean, that's, it's heavy. It appeared to be an M16, um, which was our service rifle when I was in the, the Corps, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Alright guys, so we are back here in Carrollton, Texas. So hey, real quick, before I tell you why we're here and we get started with that little project, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about what I learned. So my suspicions were right. This is a, uh, looks like a USMC uh, training. It's what they call a rubber ducky rubber ducky uh, training gun. Ours has the bayonet. So I did find this exact one online and they were asking $350 for it that was without the bayonet. So I think, easily I think I can get probably I don't know, I'm gonna say two to four hundred dollars because this is I believe from the 80s, 1980s. It is a it's a just a M16A2 training rifle. So anyway, hey, two to four hundred dollars on this. So we spent a total of two hundred and forty dollars on all three units. To end that off, I think easily we're gonna make twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars. So we are really gonna start expanding the content of just not just hey buying a storage unit looking at it oh wow look what we found we really want to slow down now that we're kind of putting a lot of things behind us and looking for we really want to go back to the beginning where we really wanted to educate you guys on how we do what we do because we know it's important that some of you guys listen i tell people all the time like you can't let a nine to five restrict your dreams you i think that i can teach anyone to be able to buy and sell and make a full-time living in so hey why are we here we're going to do this video look at this big beast we left this place a mess. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> Normally, I don't I don't rent units. When I buy units, you know I go get them, we pick them up, we process them, we sell them. We usually have the stuff in auction within five to seven business days. So this one, the toy deal came up. So it is an option. It should be a tool belt or a tool in your uh, belt, your arsenal uh, that you have sometimes. Like, so if another deal comes up, you're like, man, I just bought this, I, you know, I gotta handle this. Well, you can rent the units usually. This is probably the second time we've ever done this. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna process this unit. We got trash bags. We have this for the rest of the month. So I'm gonna go back to my old roots and that's reselling antique furniture. There's still boxes in here that we couldn't get to. They're down on the bottom and there's still that crate that's in the back. So there is still some good hype, legitimate hype to this unit. All right, guys, so we decided to pop in a little bit earlier than I wanted to just because we're finding really, like, kind of cool stuff. So, look, we're going through all these old boxes. This is all the stuff that I couldn't get to. It was on the bottom. So, I'm going through everything, like I told you. Go through everything. Don't assume if it's a, like, this was a box full of dirty curtains and stuff. And I found, like, this old Louis, Louis Vuitton 
Yo, it says like, this is old, but look, they put a new handle on it. But look, <laughs> yeah. it says Saks Fifth Avenue. I think this is old vintage Louis, but let's see if this is the zipper even on there. I don't even think the zipper's on there, y'all. But I don't know if somebody would want this. Look, I don't. I've got to do some research. Oh, the zipper is on there. It's oh, just it right here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So, what's it say, Taylor? Okay, that says Taylor. So, oh, here's the stamp. Some of you experts in there, Louis Vuitton, Paris, France. Here, it up a little bit more. Manufactured. So y'all check that out. So this is vintage Louis. So yeah, it, look, it's pretty beat up. It is. But actually, you know what? If you straighten this out, there's it's like not the leather's not like ripped. It's just kind of wrinkled from having all that stuff on. There's missing the handle and the zipper's cached, but I don't know, this might have some value to it. So guys, if you know your Louis Vuittons, let me know if this is worth it. I know it's worth something. I mean, I look, if I told somebody, hey, I got this old vintage Louis bag for 20 bucks, they'd probably take it, you know what I mean? So look, we're just finding cool, like old stuff in there. Oh, look, is this one of those huggers? You know, where you squeeze oh, his back? Yeah. That looks like an old dwarf. This is kind of cool. This was like, probably something they took to school, you yeah, know, but it's cool penguin. Find. I opened this box and it just looked like dirty, like curtains on top and I pulled them out, you know, mm -hmm. and you could assume that that stuff's in there, but then you start pulling cool stuff out like the Vint Louis Vuitton. Y'all look at these old pennants. What's that say? White mountains. Y'all, these are old. Oh, look at that. That's kind of killer right there. Oh, that is cool. That's probably sixties. I bet uh -huh. at least sixties or fifties. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet some of these have some value. We'll look these up. Look at that old Boston one. Yeah, and these are cool. a thicker felt too. Man, they are dusty. Old Man of the Mountain. White Mountains. Oh, man. All right, y'all. So we'll put these in the... I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Yeah, we'll put these in the... These are definitely auction material. Look at yeah. that. Elk River Indian Village. The ones in the middle... Washington, oh, Indiana. wow. This might be worth something right here. Huh? This might be worth something right here. What is it? Look at this. Look at the oh, Nazi the symbols. Yeah, look, the Nazi what? symbols on it. Y'all, Lakehurst, 1936. Oh, let's keep going. Portland. Yeah. Portland, Maine. Portland ain't doing so well these days. Oh, Portland, Oregon. I don't know about Portland, Maine. Oh, sorry. Wrong. Hey, I didn't mean to wrong misidentify Portland. you, Portland, Maine. My bad. I ain't trying to associate with the other Portland. <laughs> All right, y'all, check this out. Crystal Cave, Crystal Ballroom. That's, well, that's pretty cool. sick, y'all. Uh, New York World Fair. This is a World Ooh, Fair. That's the really World cool. Fair definitely has a huge following. This is probably same era. I'd say 30s, 40s right here. But look at that. Like, that's in really good condition. That is in really good condition. Okay. Up next, we have a Gotham. Uh, it's a navy one. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty sick. Uh, oh, look at this. The Hershey, Hershey Park, y'all. These, it's see, awesome. these aren't just like, these are really cool, y'all. Uh -huh. What's wild about it is, is this stack of old pennants might just pay for this unit, believe it or not. So look, they're just not making stuff like this anymore. Yo, we could press these out, look, and put these uh -huh. in a, like a frame, you know, like a long frame. Those would be sick. That would be cool. All right, y'all, check that out. That's an army one. Pretty cool. Okay. Gettysburg. Jenny Wade House. The battlefield, y'all. That's sick. Okay. Did we go through all of them? I think so. I feel like, yeah. man, those were so fun. They were Old fun. Orchard Beach. With the Native American stuff, y'all, and the sensitivity of booties these days, could be big money. Now, let's just finish this bag off because this is where they were. There's another Indian. Uh, what are these? These are genuine leather. Let's see what brand they are. Ooh, are these military? Oh, wait, here. I got some. Made in England. Okay, this is another thing we got to look up. These are riding boots, or it says Hawkins Northampton for the Merkins Riding Shop. So these are made in England style, and they are size three and a half C. So check it out. They're in really good condition. Mm -hmm. You know, these are old. They're made in England, so I'm not sure what these boots go for, but I, we'll get these cleaned up, and you know, who knows? This could be $100 boots. All right, y'all. Okay, so here's another tip. Um, when you find small stuff like this in bags and, like, chargers and stuff, do your best. Like, I try to take one small box and set, like, what I call pieces, like, things that, oh, I might find that later in the unit. 
because trust me, you'll start kicking yourself in the butt. You'll be like, oh man, I saw that and I didn't save it. So kind of take something off to the side, you know, or like stick these over here uh, because those probably, those might go to the old wall clock that's in that box that we have it uh, open, the toppers. Yeah. And so I'm just thinking that might go there. So, all right, we got a couple more pennants. Uh, that sturdy. But yeah. Sure. But you know what? We might be able to clean these, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know. Georgetown. Georgetown. That's, that's awesome. Cool. That's definitely older, y'all. Uh -huh. uh, got a couple more. That's, you know, this is the stuff that geeks me out. This is why I love doing what I do. Bear Mountain, Hudson River. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Atlanta City. City. Y'all, look at cool. the, just the age and date of that. These have definitely, like, even those, like, man. Phoenixville? Got another Native American on it. All right, see, look. So that was in this dirty bag, y'all, in the bottom of this box. And who knows? I might have just found like a thousand dollars in freaking vintage pennants. But check it out. I got all the way back to the back. Got to this trunk. Went through all this. I have gone through every bit of this. Let me quickly show you some of the highlights. And we got to jump back here because I looked in the box and all I say is I told Gina we might have hit a jackpot. Maybe I might be exaggerating. But the first thing I pulled out looked like it could be good. So, all right, check it out real quick. Just some of the things I found that I think we can make significant money on. Got two Bose speakers here. These are Bose Model 100. I think a pair of Bose speakers, like, on a bad day is 50 bucks. But we've sold some of the older wood grain ones for upwards to, like, five, six, seven. You know, some of them go thousands of dollars. Y'all, this is, I'm keeping this. To y'all who are new to the channel and don't know, I have a pager collection. This is the bomb.com. This was, like the prem the creme de la creme beeper so y'all <laughs> gonna keep that add that to the collection all right uh look found another old camera really oh, cool this cool. was wrapped up very nice it is a blala oh a balda blala <laughs> okay uh look we have an old uh tripod this is the thaw hammer thaw hammer something all right i don't i'm not familiar with these speakers but they look nice they were wrapped up these are uh clips k-l-i-p-s-h or c-h the ultimate sound experience these are model uh i don't see a model number on there but they're kind of cool you know they're kind of really neat looking i actually might put these in the youtube studio a few more things like old bible this this old radio i might keep this just in case you know the chinese attack oh. uh this right here was probably this was okay this was in the bottom was this of a with drape the, box. Yeah, the bottom of a drape box. So I think these are sterling silver. They're stamped 12 something or yeah, something. Sure I don't have my glasses or my loop, but look, these say less uh, covert something Paris. Uh, but look, they're very pretty. I think they're sterling. You know, I think the yeah, tops are sterling at least. But look, there's a whole beautiful set. They're stamped. Okay, I don't know. I know some things like this. Usually you could say this is probably like, if it's just like nothing, it's, you know, 60, 70, 80 bucks. But if, you know, when I do my research on this, this could be three, four hundred dollars. It could be twelve hundred. I don't know. All right, y'all, moving on back. Look, there's that crate and there's that huge box. I still, this stuff has been in here for a month and I haven't looked in it. So we're finding <laughs> fantastic stuff. But y'all, this was a very high end unit. Remember, I bought it because the, the, the crate that said clock which turns out it's probably a seven to $15,000 clock. So anyway, okay, let me show Gina what I found. Okay, so I was moving this box. Oh, where'd it go? I Hold on. You, I heard you shaking it. Yeah, oh, this. Well, I, I've moved the paper and look what I saw. Ah, ring. Okay. Let's just dump it out right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, look, what do we got in here? Go down this way. Oh, what's that say? Some, that's a book marker. Lunt Sterling, y'all. Look, there's a Sterling Silver book marker. Let's take this ring out. That's probably maybe Sterling. That's yeah. why they kept it. The handle, because it's real light. Some kind of ram's head. Oh, look, old keys. Okay, might go to some of the trunks. Oh, look at this old lighter. Oh, that's killer. Oh, yeah, that is Continental. Cool. Oh, hold on. Oh, Japan, but y'all look at that little like MCM lighter, y'all. That thing right there might go for 50, 60 bucks alone. Oh, what is this? Is this a sterling silver? It's a 925 wiener dog. Oh my god. Broach, y'all. It's a Milo. That's pretty so cool. Cute. Little baby turtle. 
this was probably was this for cigarettes? Yeah. Put your pack of cigarette cigarettes in there and it thing. caught on the bottom. They had these mark oh these are sterling silver. Okay. Yeah, those are sterling. So you got a set of sterling ring. Oh, so let's look at this. This is the big test. Yeah, I still don't know what else is down in that box. <laughs> um Okay, that's what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's see the uh that, that ain't I can't be gold. I don't think that's gold. It's got a big dirty seam in it. Oh, look at all the little sterling stuff. Oh, y'all know that some of these old pins can be sterling too. Mm -hmm. Safety pins and things like that. So I don't know what that goes to. There's so cute things yeah, in here. Yeah, little cute little things in here. So, all right, we'll pick up all the silver. But look, just, I mean, a couple pairs of sterling, or sterling that, sterling that. We got the lighter. Okay. Uh, look, a little turtle pendant. Oh, these are just painted. These are real sea dollars, it looks like. Oh, that's cool. Um, but anyway, so once we pick everything out of here, I mean, look at that. I mean, you got a, you got a 100, 150 bucks right here. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, we're about to do some unboxing together. We're going to do this box because it's got me intrigued. So, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is pretty. That's hand-painted. Look at that dragon. Oh. Look, the dragon comes up off uh -huh. of this. That's pretty, 3D. really pretty. It is. Look at that, y'all. That's sick. Okay, so we're going to wrap that back up. We'll set that bad boy right there. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That door uh, uh oh, uh oh. You know what? Hey, you know what's wild? Y'all go back and watch that video. And I was pretty upset with myself because I was like, I felt jewelry in this unit and yeah, I never found jewelry. You never found jewelry. I didn't, but then I was like, man, maybe my feelings are getting off, you know? Uh, okay, so there's some cool little stuff in here. Uh, nothing big. That might actually, that might be gold. We'll check that. All right. Oh, look, this might be a set. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Okay, so they the set they had at Japanese dragonware. They had the set at eighty five dollars. That's I pretty. think that's very very fair because y'all, if you could see this in person, I bet that's gold leaf. Yeah. Okay, on top of it, but the way that that comes out and the eyes on that dragon, y'all, that is sick. That is really nice. All right, y'all. So yeah, look, we're getting the saucers. Oh, that's so cool. Three D on there too. Okay, we'll set that right there. Got the creamer. Awesome. Okay. Very, very pretty. Okay. Oh, this bowl is... Did you just break something? Maybe. <laughs> All right, y'all. So check this out. This very nice hand-woven basket. Different yeah, colors. Cool. Very pretty. That could be... Some yeah. hand-woven baskets can be really expensive. Okay, yeah. so look down here. We're getting into a lot of wrapped up stuff. Oh, these are pretty. Ooh, okay. That little... pretty. That's not an earring. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> Y'all, but hey, these sell these old uh, danglies for like lamps and stuff like that. Look yeah, at the size of those, those are bad pretty. boys. So those will sell. Y'all, there's so much little bitty. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it's All right, top. so we're good. The top's not broke. All right, look, we got more danglies down here. I feel, I feel so much better. What the heck was that? Looks like oh, a it's sign though. But it's broke. Art. No, look, wow. it says something. Uh, yeah, it's signed and it's either 2,000 or it's one of 2,000. I feel like it could be numbered. Yeah. But it's broke. Wow. Yo, okay, look at these. These are really pretty pieces, y'all. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, these, uh, this stuff right here. Looks like it's part of a lamp or something that yeah. hangs on the wall. Yeah. Oh, that's a okay. So that's like a, a topper soccer. to a decanter. So hopefully we find that bad boy in here. Okay. Oh. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Little kitty cat brooch. Sterling. A silver. Silver station. Y'all, that's nine two five. Right there. Yep. Sure. That's nine two five. Look, a little kitty. Bro, oh wait, hold on. Well, hold on, baby. Look, <laughs> we got silver kitty. Yep, this is silver. Look, a silver fish brooch. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, and we got a silver, another silver kitty brooch. So yeah, look, hey, those brooches right there are here in Oh, look at the cups. 
Look at those. Those are so How fun. pretty are these? I love those. Y'all, these will be in the next auction. Let's see. I've got a sterling silver. Oh, look, it's a bear or what is it? A cat? Something in, over a pot. But that's another sterling silver brooch, y'all. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, I've got oh, more, more danglies. Yeah. Okay, we'll put all these in a lot and sell them separately. Let's see if we got some more sterling, y'all. Oh, something just slid out. Oh, more oh, danglies. More okay. okay. Man, hopefully, you think we got some sterling silver in this joint? I think it's definitely possible. Yeah, especially for this unit. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that says 1881 Rogers. Okay, this stuff right here, these cutting things, these are really pretty. That mother of pearl handle. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. Look at the engraving on that blade. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's set this stuff down. Okay, that's danglies. Okay, let's put all the danglies on this side of the box. Okay. Stanley stainless. Oh, we got another dragon cup. Looks pretty good. Put yep. that in there with his sister. Okay. Oh, that's another dragon cup. We're gonna keep that in there. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna set those over there. This was a fun little box. This Unexpected. Was a fun box. There's no telling what's in that crate, y'all. Because it's just the high end stuff. It's a a, a, a big another old dangle. crystal ball. That's kind of really pretty cake. That is pretty. What's it say? Grown. It says England. So it's from England. Okay. Let's see what else we got down here. I'm thinking this might be all. Yeah, these are danglies. Danglies. It's a big old ball right there, boy. Ooh, the heck's that big old dangly going on to? Okay, so, all right. All right, guys. So, made it back to this thing. I figured out what it is. And see, that's why I'm glad we keep things. Sorry, right, I have no idea what's in this box. It's pretty light. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really light. It says 32 of 32. Um, Is it a table? Oh, it's a lamp. Yeah. Oh, it's lamps. Oh, it feels like a, a very interesting kind of lamp. I feel like, see, this is where I'd be like, hey guys, it's a lamp. And I'd cut it off and I wouldn't show you the lamp. But guess what I'm about to do? <laughs> I'm about to take my time and pull this lamp out of the box for you. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a figure or lamp or something. Is it? Oh man. Whoa. Oh, it's big. That is whoa. huge. Whoa. 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 Y'all, we might have just found a 12. Ooh, whoa. All right, y'all, hey, I can't risk it. I gotta get this. Oh, hold on. Sit on this couch. Okay. I still don't want to pull on this, y'all, because look, there could be. Oh, this could be a 12. This could pay for the unit. I have no idea what's in this. Uh, so, all right, so let me get this out of here. That way we can cut it. Well, hold on, let me see if it'll just come, come up and easy. I just don't want to pull any parts off of it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. In case it's got, oh, look. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a figure oh. lamp, a huge figure lamp. Whoa, look at that. Oh, is it signed? Yo, look at this lamp. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, let us get this out and we'll get this off better. Um, and we'll show you what's in it. So we got it unwrapped. We're gonna leave this here till we can bring a container back to do this. But look, it's it's a lady and a guy. I don't know if it's supposed to be Romeo and Juliet. I can't find any markings on it. The bottom looks like it's felt. Like it actually, like felt. it may have been redone. Yeah. But most for most part, like all her toes are on there. He's got all his toes. And there's probably a few chipped flowers but hey let me do some research on that. so we spent 1500 on this and we're still making money on this unit beautiful lamp guys we have more great adventures we are actually looking at our first out-of-state unit it's a couple states over i think it's a fifty thousand dollar unit on the low end it could be a couple hundred thousand dollars but we're watching that we may be starting that adventure next week only way to know stay tuned so other than that guys we'll see you at the next unit